Sup my people, we are speed running with the Dominion account rated 634, this is a 15 plus 10 game, and I have a dog, hello, no you're not going, because you've got a limp in it, okay, opponent is rated 640, and speaking to the microphone, um, okay, we've played E4, and we're going to see what happens. Nothing! Well, well, well. Who'd have thought it? Oi! Give over! I'm trying to record! What's this dude? Okay. Right. So, against. We're playing normal kind of repertoire, aggressive repertoire, against these people. You are limping. Go lie down. Okay, normal, normal, normal. And you're going to stay there. You're going to get better. I know. Okay, well, why they're having to think for so long? Okay, ooh, three nights. Right, well, I'm going to play. I'm going to play the winner. What? I know it's kind of dubious. Get over. Okay, they have accepted. I'm going to put my knight here. The idea is now that we've really gained control of the centre and everyone's got good control of the centre with all their knights. Cause... Will you pack it in, you two? Bloody hell. Okay. D4. I don't know. Okay. Wait, right, enough. Leave her alone. I'm trying to focus on this and the boys and girls are trying to watch. Okay? So stop it. Right. Push. And then d5. Because this is a tempo move, which means the knight has to do something. It could theoretically come in here. I think that's kind of unlikely. This is possible. And if I kick you again, then where do you go? Would you dare a more dangerous road? You did not come in there. Okay, now I think I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to get my pawn back at some point. I'm not worried about the pawn. Forget the pawn. Here. See, if the queen comes out, queen h5 check, that's fine. She leaves the board, okay? I think here. If you want to trade off your knight, which is already infiltrated into my space then be my guest. This is not good for white, because he's already played one. Go on, leave her alone. Stop it. Okay. He's already made two moves with the knight, right? Now, if I take... Think about this move, g4. Is it's blocked white's queen h5 check? So if I take, take... Then my knight's are under attack, and this pawn is actually attacked twice. That's the problem. So I'm not happy about that. But I'm happier about this, I think. This is attacked, but it is defended, right? Now, he could play this. Bishop g5 pinning my knight onto my queen. Thereby, meaning that this has no defenders. So then what happens if I play bishop takes there? Bishop takes knight, queen takes knight. Bishop takes there, knight takes. This is defended twice, I think we're okay. Okay, but he's done this, and I'm, I'm happy to see that. And the reason is one, two, three knight moves, and then poof, just like that, he's gone. Right, he's still up a pawn, this, this fella, okay? But, what's he actually got? Yes, we know you've got pawns. Everyone can see you've got pawns. Now, I can't go there and I can't go there because of Queenie. So it's looking like we're coming back here or here. Now, knight d7 feels less backwards than knight g8. However, is it voice? 
Or do we just ignore it all? Because the thing about what White has done is, right, he's really made a mess of his king side. So what if, what if, let's just play a game of what if. I take the pawn, you take the knight, I take that. Okay? Now, I'm then going to be down a knight and a pawn for two pawns. That's a knight for two pawns. Kind of. Then let's look at the board, because it's only material. Or a castle you take, I take. That pawn falls. Go on, let's play. We're here to play aggressive, right? Let's just play aggressive. Now, again, what has he got? Yes, he's got an extra knight. Right, that guy. Okay, but now I've got a pawn back yeah he wants to castle this away that means the queen's gonna come here or here or here right but or here wants the castle that's fine da, 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 doesn't work I'll put my queen here might work I can put a rook onto b8. Do I have compo? If the queen light goes there, for example, I can slam my bishop in here, which then, because it's looking at the d1 square, means that he can't castle to here. And if he could, his rook would be hanging. So I might do that. Also got ideas about like this. I could gang up on this pawn. Not altogether sure about this yet. There we go, there goes the queen. All right, now this would drop the bishop. But here, and then if he castles, his rook's gonna be on this square, right? Then I have that, that, that. Yeah, I'm gonna play this, because can't play rook g1, because queen takes rook. And you can't castle now. Because then the queen and the rook are going to be here. Bishop here. Pawn advances to f3 doesn't work. Because I take defended by the pawn. And the queen is still skewered against the rook. Boom. Yeah. And by the way. So there was a comment on a previous. Hello. Previous uh, speedrun video saying that I was disrespecting my opponent, I apologize. Right? It is not good form. Um, and it breaks rule number one, which is, of course, don't be a dick. Uh, I think I was kind of tired and whatever, but even so, no excuses, precious. Okay, so What's the situation? Well, we've now re-established material equality. <sighs> Let us take stock. This bishop ain't happy, because it can come to here, or here, really. This, I mean, apart from the fact it would get taken, what's the point? And it can't come to here, or here, or here. So that's a bad bishop. This is also a bad rook, partly for the same reason. It's only got one square and it'll get tooked. And it's got to defend this pawn, which is also under attack. So that's not happy either. This pawn is under attack. So what I'm thinking is maybe something might stick it here. There. Stick it there, he gets kicked. I come all the way back here. Maybe I'll just come here anyway. Because the point is, it's the discovered event, uh, defense, because my queen will then defend this pawn. Or, if I push it there, it's still attacked twice though, isn't it? I just do this and, go on, let's do it. Let's do it. The queen can take this pawn. 
I know then I can't play rook there because queen takes this rook. That's annoying. Didn't really think that one through, did I? That was my plan. Was to play rook b6. But that would hang this rook. Hmm. An alternative would have been, with this rook still here, could have been to play my bishop there, forcing the bishops off the board. Maybe that would have been smarter. Rook's still there. Bishop here takes, but then rook takes. Don't know. Opponent's playing well for 7 7 5. Okay, he's taken. Now, what I would love to do, because notice the queen's not defended, what I would love to do is to move this bishop with check. Can I do that? Let's try this. Now, I was thinking of sacking my rook here, but again, that falls into this same problem, which is not clever. Maybe I just move this rook first. And there, if you do that, then I have this, and I win the... Oh, I've lost another pawn. Oh, no, how terrible. How terrible. Oh. And check. Ah. I'm two pawns down. Okay. Cooper. Goodness me. Right. What's occurred in? I think I need to move this rook out of the way. He's got two attackers on here now. Takes. Queen there. Rook has to go there. Okay, I thought you'd take that. Right. Now we've got issues. Now three pawns down. And my bishop's under attack. Hmm. Queen there's checkmate. But how do I get there? I don't really. Here. I don't think I can let him take my... Uh, Bishop, what are the options? Stick it here, maybe. That's a free move, defended by the Queen. Knocks his queen out the way. I get to there, I'm good. Can't go there because of this bishop. Here, here, that is checkmate. Now it's not. And he's also preparing a discovery potentially. Hmm. Check, because here or here. That doesn't work because of queen here or here winning the rook. Okay, decent move. A check. Can't go there, 
Can't go there. Check here. It's quite safe, that king. This is the bishop. Hmm. Have to come back here now. So, so much for speed run. I managed to get myself three pawns down. What am I, a piece down? No, it's a bit more complicated than that. It's three minor pieces against a minor piece and a rook and some pawns. I'm effectively, yeah, two pawns down. Huh. <sighs> Try and check my mill there. And he's hitting my queen, so if I no, he's hitting my bishop, sorry. If I go if I go there, he's got knight takes. Pawn takes with tempo. If I go here. Is that better? There? He's got this. That's mate. <sighs> and I can't see a way to stop it. Okay, guys, so I've just pulled this up in the... Um in a proper analysis board and my opponent played with 91 accuracy which simply does not happen at uh, the 775 level he played a miss on move 8 and other than that not even a mistake in the whole game so we go to best move diff, looking for white. That's his miss. Other than that, one inaccuracy, which is castles. So, I don't know what you think. I know what I think, but I'm not going to say it. Right, let's go back and let's try again. Okay, another 15 plus 10. I mean, honestly, uh, 90, 91 accuracy. <sighs> I'm going to struggle as a 1500 in reality. So now we're playing WoW 818. And we have again the King's Knight opening. Now what do we get? Opponents rated 5 2 3 from land of visa by the look of it, Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Okay, now what's this? 
This has no name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach it Freddy Krueger style. Imagining you want to put your bishop there. Okay. Just going to develop. I'm going to give you a second bite of the cherry. The whole point of these f5 openings is you want your opponent... Okay, it's fine. You can still take. Now, do we kick or not? This is an instructive point. I think I will in this instance because if he takes, I get free queen development. Maybe not to g6. That would be slightly illegal. But... Okay. Queen development or pawn takes. I think queen development. I like the fact... See, he's just played b3 and then decided to deploy his bishop for a pin and then traded it off leaving a giant gaping hole here and a very embarrassed looking rook so if this knight should move bang bang and the rook's trapped well it's not because if the knight moves he's got b1 you know what i mean though okay that loses a piece this is what we expect to find, sub 800. Okay, now I have this, but I also have this. And that is a fork. The knight's undefended, and the rook is worth more than the bishop. And I could pr potentially prepare to castle. I can also push this pawn. Let's go for this idea. Can we just drop back here and pin the knight? And there's no dark squared bishop to block the pin. So he can't move the knight. He has to defend the knight. And the only way to do that is queen d2. Okay. So he's attacking my queen. He's also forking this square. I have this. Defends that square. Hmm. Decent move. Either of these two squares might work. I think this one, though. Just, I don't know why, I'm just eyeing up that. If here and takes, I've actually got queen c3 check, winning the knight back. I am up a piece. Oh, he likes his, uh, well, he likes preparing Fianchettos anyway. That would be interesting. Takes, takes. Let's go for this idea. Check. He's gonna take with a knight. Because the only other legal moves are queen blocks or king moves. Cock. He's got that, but then I win the rook. Oh dear, oh dear, hunty. Come on, wake up. Actually, queen there is worse because I've got knight f3, which is a royal fork. King there, and then queen takes that. Ooh. Okay, can I take that? I reckon. Castles is also a thought, you know. Kind of like that. If takes and takes. Let's just open things up first. Then I might still short castle. I wonder if I can speed run all the way to a thousand. It'd take a lot of games, wouldn't it? I'm talking about like in one evening. I don't know. that because knight takes. I'm thinking about getting my bishop into the game. D6 
d6, and that wins. Okay. Now he has to trade off, right? Okay, he has to trade off. Knight, there is a possibility. I think just queen back here. That's a check, actually. And queen can't take, because knight guards. Pawn takes. And we have peeled you open, haven't we? Still like this. Semi-open file. Okay. Defends the knight. Which is respectable. Do this anyway. Now, the c takes isn't even an option, right? So now you're in check. Queen takes isn't an option. You have to move. Okay. I have a check here. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's looking good. Um, he might just come over and start sniffing around my knight. I could then defend the knight. I'm also going to check here. So it's no, 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 no. He's got three. Let's do that. See what happens. Here I've, I can castle him into check. Also queen's attacking this, which is defended right now only by the king. So that's actually a check. King has to go to one side. This is also a check. Same deal. Let's get the king the hell out of there. This is a possibility now. Just got to watch out for that. So he's in check. No, 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 because of knight. No, because of queen. No, because of pawn. Yes. Only option. Y yeah, okay. But that drops a piece. He... Huh, okay. Um, um, this and knight moves his mate. Actually, any knight move. Literally any knight. I've got eight checkmates with the knight. Oh, no, not. I've got seven. Oh, oh, he's given himself a square. Well done. Okay, I can take this pawn. He has to go here, right? Now, from there, what squares has he got? I thought you had to go there. Uh, this is a royal fork, and it's not snatch. Yeah, let's snatch. You're in check. That's forced. I mean, here he just comes towards the knight, yeah? So I'll just snatch the queen off. Um, that is a fork, but if he comes off the back rank, the rooks are connected and defend each other. What is the quickest way to win? Just something like this. This rook's got to get out off onto the open file anyway at some point. It means he, he doesn't have this anymore. Now he has to go here or here. I have this. So that would be mate in one. Okay. Well, that's a bit more like it, guys. That was a bit more like it. Normal service resumes. Right. So join me next time for the next one.